Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, March 27th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. And then also for you Bitcoin traders, I will do a bonus analysis at the end of Bitcoin. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So ticker symbol number one, M-E-S-O. Very, very nice day today. And as I speak, this thing is you know hovering right up around the highs here. And that'll be where the first level comes into play. Because yeah, nothing fancy or complicated behind this other than the question, well, where did the party finally stop today? And that was right up there at $4.02. So that'll be the main level of resistance. But like I said, as I speak right now, the price is nearing it. Uh, price, market still doesn't close for another 15 minutes. So if you're watching this video and the price is up above 402, then you would get to ask yourself a very exciting question. Okay, breakout has occurred. Is this the breakout, the start of something even bigger? Um, now, right now, we still get to ask a, a relatively interesting question. That question being, can the price break out? Uh, but I always prefer, and I always like the question of, okay, it's already broken out. So now is this the start of something even bigger? But nonetheless, still both exciting questions, but that'll be what you want to just check in when you watch this and see if the price did ultimately break up through 402. Uh, but if it's still down below up, then that question stands, you know, will it be able to break? As far as levels of support are concerned, if you like to play more so pullbacks, interesting pullback area right down there around $3.40. So keep an eye on that. But all things considered, very, very impressive day to day. So we'll see if the momentum can continue into Wednesday. Next one, CISS, big mover today as far as volume and um, you know price movement. Although we do now have a couple of very well-defined levels and the level that you gotta think most people are watching moving forward is all about that pink line there, which on my chart denotes the very well-known, the very famous 200 per moving average. And this is why it's famous. What a coincidence, price gapped up, made a big move up and then right there was rejected and then got closer to it right there. Didn't hit exactly, but close enough and rejected back down. So that's not to say that that pink line can never ever be broken. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price was rejected that level. So moving forward, definitely that 200 period moving average is gonna be public enemy number one from a resistance standpoint. In terms of areas of support, first level to keep an eye on if there is any sort of pullback is basically the bottom part of this little consolidation right here at 0.042. And then if the price breaks below there, what I would consider more of a muscle level would be that purple line down there, that 50 period moving average. But we don't wanna to get too far ahead of ourselves because as of right now, the price isn't anywhere to close to even doing you know a battle with that 0.042. But all things considered, massive volume today, especially for a penny stock. So if you like this price range, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol DJT, formerly DWAC, but today it changed ticker symbols to DJT. And been tracking this one, gonna go ahead and do some updates here. Big gap up, but as I speak right now, very rough afternoon, big pullback. And then like I said, as I speak right now, this thing is even pushing to lower lows here. Uh, but nonetheless, gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And the first update comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And as of now, it's looking like this former area of resistance now uh, what you would want to see act as support right there at 5280 may be coming into play now it's still got a bit of a distance to travel uh but definitely keep an eye on that and then not that far away from 5280 we once again have that purple line that we can use as a gauge uh you know measure support and that would be another area to watch very closely uh, but yeah as of right now looking very possible that uh, this pullback is going to carry it into this range of the chart which just brings the question is the price going to you know uh, consolidate out and get a bounce from there that remains to be seen if the price all of a sudden decides to turn itself around Main area of resistance in the near term gonna be right there at the 65, 65 mark. So keep an eye on that. But in my opinion, at least with the pullback that's begun, I think it'll pull back some more. So big question is, can it hold this uh, you know support level right around the 5280 mark? We'll see what Wednesday has to offer. Next one, TLRY. And this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched yesterday's video, but if you did, talked about that purple line, 50 period moving average as that being the main level of support. And what do you know, the power of charts opened up right down around that level, and then a beautiful bounce off that level, which has now carried us into the pattern that gotta think a lot of people will be watching going into Wednesday. So let's get this pattern mapped out. We have the area of resistance. We have the area of support. Let me change that to green, and then make the pattern easier to see. Let's keep it all one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the explosive move right there. A few golfers try to make a little bit more visually appealing put the golf hole down here so if this is known as a bull pennant pattern so while nothing is guaranteed 
Is it plausible? Is it valid to think that the price can come up here and push up through that level, that that break in of itself could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So if you like stocks down below $5, you like bull pennant patterns, certainly keep an eye on it. Next, NKLA did this one yesterday and definitely updates need to be made. Going to go ahead and do a little house cleaning, get rid of that level as it served its purpose for now. But first update, which you've already heard me say once, when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. And that is exactly what was finally able to happen today. You can see this morning, that level was once again being stubborn, uh, providing resistance even after this afternoon, was struggling, but right there really came to life and got the big movement up through there. So moving forward, the ideal level of support would be at 76 and a half cents. Ideal meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? Definitely if the price can stay above there, but from the big picture standpoint, all about that purple line, 50 period moving average, as the name implies, that line's gonna move itself higher and higher. So it's basically like a trend line that's gonna draw itself for you. So as long as the price stays above the overarching trend line, then by default, the overall trend is still in the upwards direction. Uh, in terms of areas of resistance, yeah, having to go back very far away, as you can see here, I realize it's getting harder to see, but we have this next level up here at those highs, which sit at uh, 84 and a half cents. So 84 and a half, next key battleground, which is coming from this high from way back there. Uh, but all things considered, very, very impressive move over the past couple of days. Real quick, I want to personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online webinar that I'm offering in a couple of days. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free webinar. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box you can use to get signed up. Or if you're watching right at my website, there's an area there on the page you're on that you can use to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live webinar. Next one, CGC and one of these marijuana stocks, which again, did a good job of maintaining above uh, its purple line there, that 50 period moving average got very close right there, but did indeed hold. And now we once again have a pattern that should sound familiar. So we have our resistance. We have our support, just cause I can't help myself. Let's keep it one color. We have our resistance, support, big move up golf hold on here. So another bull pennant pattern. So once again, if you like this price range, you like these marijuana stocks and you like bull pennants occurring in uptrends, certainly keep an eye on CGC. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And overall, good day. There's a little perspective that goes into this, uh, which makes my job a little difficult from a presentation standpoint, because I understand if you're a day trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought right there, maybe you bought the dip right there and your plan was to buy and sell in 20 minutes. Yes, from that standpoint, the chart looks really, really bad because yeah, there has been a very big pullback. So there's no doubt about it that there is a big pullback pretty much from late morning through the rest of the day. But if you care about the bigger picture, well, part of caring about the big picture is saying, yeah, Clay, fair enough. The price pulled back late morning and the rest of the day. But what was going on before this action? And you'd say, well, there's this huge explosion upwards, which is completely accurate and what gives you a bull flag pattern. So depending on your angle, this could be looking like a very beautiful bullish flag for you. Or, you know, if you're a day trader and you, you bought up here, obviously you don't find anything bullish at all about this chart. So all a matter of perspective. But yeah, very strong move up. No doubt about it. It has pulled back but this has just now created a bull flag scenario. So um, yeah, things are looking shaky in the near term, but bigger picture wise, let's see if the price can get the push back to the upside and get a bull flag breakout. Next one, KULR did this yesterday, talked about the nice bull pennant, got the breakout through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these lines as they've served their purpose for now. And really kind of just almost a case of deja vu because what I talked about in yesterday's video, essentially is holding strong and holding true once again, just at a higher level. So we have our area of resistance. We have our area of support. You probably know what I'm gonna draw and say here, but we have resistance, we have support. We have the nice upwards move here. We have the golf hold on here. Have ourselves another bull pennant pattern, just like we did yesterday. So yesterday's bull pennant, very crudely drawn was something like that. Got the breakout through here. Now we just have another pullback or another bull pennant, excuse me. So now it's just a question of, is history gonna repeat itself? Is the pattern gonna get a break to the upside? Of course, that's not guaranteed to happen. There are no guarantees, but is it a valid logical thought? Absolutely. So if you like bull pennants, you like penny stocks, keep an eye on this one. Next one, S-O-U-N has been very, very popular, although gone a little quiet recently. And it's, it's hanging around this area of support. So for those of you that have watched past videos, then hopefully you remember me talking about this 583-ish area. And you can see that it has done a good job, but I'm actually gonna make a little adjustment. Now that we have more data, it seems though more so the accurate level of support is down here right around $5 and 70 cents. 
because you can see right there, price bounce, price bounce, got close to it right there, and is getting near term uh, right now. So is it at the, that level right now? It is not, uh, but certainly getting close. But in my mind, that is a big question mark moving forward. Can the 570 mark hold or not? If it does not, let me offer up a little bit more perspective. Then you're seeing here, the price is starting to enter into some bigger space on the chart uh, that have, haven't been seen for quite a while. So if the price falls below here, like you said, looking back here, you can see it's essentially a no man's land. Uh, does that mean that it's going to drop straight down in the fours? I'm not saying that, uh, but I am saying uh, that there is more potential once again to pick up further downside pressure. So this 570 mark, definitely very important. If there is any sort of attempted bounce, then the key area of resistance, watch very closely. It's going to be all about that purple line there, which you now know is that 50 period moving average. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, this one will also rise, uh, but... Uh, you know, it just allows you access at a, a much lower price point, which makes it very popular and a very cruel move today. A cruel move in the sense of price came up here, broke through that tread line, which I had mapped out, ran all the way up there. So let me actually zoom in some more. I just want to see, you can see where that tread line came from, but broke through line at one point was all the way up here, looking like a beautiful breakout, pulled back, bounce, little hair, bounce. And then you can see, and as I speak right now, look at this thing, last 30 minutes, Actually, market closes here very soon, but a complete just fake breakout of that trend line. So a nasty, nasty move, and that's just how it goes sometimes in the market. But now things have really kind of switched around from, okay, how's it going to do when it breaks that trend line to, okay, is this key level of a support about to get tested? Pink line, 200 period moving average. So that's definitely going to be a very important level to watch moving forward. No doubt about that. If the price does try to come back up, key level to watch very closely will be that purple line there, 50 period moving average. Uh, but all things considered, yeah, the overall chart is hanging in there just fine. So let me zoom that out. So in fact, from the big picture point of view, depending on how, you know, I mean, it is still granted, just basically a big bull flag, bull pennant pattern, whatever you want to call it. So yes, there's no doubt about it that this action right here, very, very nasty, but pulling things back, looking at several days, you can see that everything is not maybe as dire as what it seems if you look at things in a very narrow scope. Now, of course, if you're a day trader, then you would care about that, but that's where it's all about perspective in order for you to you know, ultimately uh, figure out whether or not the chart is still bullish or bearish for you. But very narrow term, very rough day, bigger picture as you saw here, still technically speaking, a bull pennant pattern. So that wraps up the top 10 stocks. So for you stock traders out there, definitely go get signed up for that free class. It'll be very soon, Thursday, March 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely go get signed up. Now for you Bitcoin traders, let's talk Bitcoin. One quick little, um, not necessarily update, but um, note, we are no longer talking about the four hour, or excuse me, the 30 minute time frame. We are talking about the four hour time frame. So each of these candlesticks now represents four hours. Given Bitcoin is open 24 seven, I want this chart to remain as relevant for as long as possible. But honestly, not a whole lot of new things to talk about. Um, I got this wrong in the sense of, I, I thought the price would come up here and do battle with this area of resistance, this resistance zone that I talked about previously, which is a $800 range from 73,000 up to 73,800. Um, so that still is lying overhead. Now in the very near term, <laughs> you've heard this, we once again have essentially a, a bull flag, bull pennant pattern. So that would be really the easiest way to describe Bitcoin right now is there's nothing wrong with the chart per se. I just thought, you know, maybe this thing would push up and the momentum would continue, but it didn't. It's leveled off here and now it's just formed, you know, and so when I say leveled off here, I don't say that in the bearish sense at all. Just saying that, uh, cause nothing does go straight up that it seems to have formed this bear or bull pennant here. Uh, so that would be the near term, uh, kind of very di you know, diagnosis of it. Uh, as far as bigger picture, um, you know, ideas, again, this area of resistance up there still pertains. And then if there is some sort of bigger pullback, then that's where the purple line there, 50 period and pink line, 200 period moving average would come in today or come in, uh, uh, you know, have more relevance. But as of right now, I think the easiest way to really look at this one is on the four hour time frame, uh, that bull pennant pattern. And just a question of, does it break to the upside? And if so, how does it deal with that area of resistance up there? Because if it can push you this resistance zone up there, that could definitely send the thing uh, on a whole new round of upwards momentum. So we'll see how the next 24 hours all plays out. So that wraps up the top 10 video. And for those of you uh, Bitcoin traders and crypto traders, what you'll learn about in this class still does pertain. So same exact invite that I gave to the stock traders, go get signed up Thursday, March 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And if you've been watching these videos, you know that that's true because I've made a lot of calls on Bitcoin using the chart that have played out uh, very, very nicely. And as the chart suggested that they would. So for you crypto traders, you definitely need to be getting signed up for that free training also. So thanks for hanging out. If you appreciate these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know what you traded today. Let me know what you're watching for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care and go get signed up for that free webinar.